This is a 33-year-old Navy YTB, Fairhaven Shipyard just did a rebuild on. We dry docked this ship on our haul-out cradle, um, pulled all the propeller shafting out, propeller off, the rudder down, repaired all of the uh, rudder turning gear. The engine and gear were left in place. We did major steel work to the uh, fuel tanks in the bottom of the ship, including a waste oil tank down below. Uh, replaced three strakes of plate down below in the bilge. The main coupling between the propeller shaft and the uh, reduction gear were removed. 27 foot long propeller shaft was extracted, 10,000 pounds. It's got a 12 foot stainless steel wheel that was all sent out for refurbishment and then all put back in. Um, major sandblast and paint job from the uh, very bottom of the ship, the keel strake all the way to the deck all the way around. This was the last tug built for the U.S. Navy. Uh, in 1976. They had two more built after that. They were immediately uh, sold to the Saudi Arabians. So this was the actual last tug built for the U.S. Navy until just recently we had the first U.S. Navy tugs built down in, uh, in Martinek shipyard down in uh, Tacoma. She's uh, built in 1976, 109 feet long, 30 foot beam, 14 foot draft aft, 11 foot forward. Uh, with the modifications to the winch, it's about 422 tons, full displacement. And uh, our job, the crew and me, is to move Navy assets around. And my, why, the reason I say assets, not only warships, but it's uh, barges, YCs, YDs, giant floating cranes, submarines, uh, separators, any floating asset that they have that we move around all the time in the harbor. And then we'll tow dead ships from Port Angeles all the way down to uh, uh, Bremerton. Uh, we'll take, we, we take dead stick, which means a ship that's not under our own power. Uh, so there's a variety of jobs that we do bump the tug, they they really worked on the shaft and screwed pretty good, and, and uh, so so we're ready to take her tomorrow. The ship was actually designed with a centerline fuel tank, and sometime in the, I think, late 70s, early 80s, when um, the uh, rules about pollution changed, they we couldn't, because uh, the Navy ships used to long, long ago, they just pump oil right over the side. So we had to have a waste oil tank, so they sh shifted that to a waste oil tank. Well, in the process, the powers that be never thought of putting zincs or coating the tank. So for years and years and years, the salt water and, and detrimental material sat in there, and it just almost ate through the hull. And they found it. They found where it had gone from, uh, what, three-quarter inch down to one-eighth or one -eighth yeah, one-eighth of an inch, and it could have eaten through, and we would have sunk. Being a single hull vessel, we would have gone down like a rock. And um, so they found that, and they cut out 12-foot section, I think, on the uh, star port side, and a... And a three by three hole on the port side, replaced all that steel and uh, cleaned up the tank and we're good to go. So this thing's going to last another, I'd say what, <laughs> another good 12 years, 15 to the next overhaul.